Before anything is agreed upon between a client and a designer, conversations need to be happening. Yeah, you know, conversations need to be happening to where you get the information that you need and you build up the rapport that you're going to need for the success of the project. So here are four ways to really maximize your creative conversations. The first thing is to learn the person that you're going to be working with. So let's say somebody wants to come to you and want something from you as far as a design and wants to work with you as far as building their brand. And let's say they're trying to build a nonprofit. Well, a lot of times their motivations and the goals of the brand are intertwined with their own personal history and their personal ambition for what they want to accomplish. You know, their own personal um, purpose. Uh, and purpose is very important. And you want to really learn the person that you're going to be working with and get that rapport and really find out if you two are a good fit um, and how you will be able to communicate. Because you have to ask yourself, how much does this person value design? How open is this person going to be for uh, consultation or thinking in a different perspective? So you really want to work with people who really respect your perspective and respect the craft in the skill that you're bringing to the table. So the first thing is to learn the person or slash people that you're gonna be working with. The second way to get the most out of these conversations is once you figure out the person or people you've been working with, that will feed directly into learning the brand. What are they trying to build? You want to know what are the goals, what market are they trying to be a part of? What, uh, what are they providing? So you want to learn as much as about the brand as possible. So in my space as a designer, the goals of the needs of the brand or the project, oftentimes it's not what's initially asked of me. The questions that I ask are asked to reveal you know, what the true needs are. It's my job to take what information that I'm given and really figure out, okay, based on what they're trying to achieve, what do they really need from me? And then present that to them and, you know, show them what the process of getting there will be and really open their mind to all the possibilities to reach the goal and work together so that I can take what they what they want to accomplish and then I can use my skills and say here this is what you will actually need to achieve your goals and this is where some of the steps kind of build off each other because of the rapport that you build with that person and the care that you show them for wanting them to succeed will allow you to be able to show them that, hey, I know you just asked me for a logo, but you actually need a full visual brand identity and I can provide that for you. And the personal rapport that you built in the first step will make them more open to accept any type of differentiation, any type of difference between what they initially asked you and what you're saying that you can provide and what they actually need. Third way to get the most out of the initial conversation, creative conversation, is to talk money last. Because first off, you want to show them that you care about them, that you care about the project. You want to establish yourself as an investment and not an expense. I'm just paying this, I just need a logo, slap some logo on there and then I'm gonna do my thing. Whereas an investment is, okay, I'm trying to build the foundation of my brand. I'm trying to build the foundation of what I'm trying to build and I want this to last a long time so I need to take the time to invest in what I'm talking about. And you as a designer are a part of that investment. So you are, so the client is investing the money in the designer and time talking and the designer is investing their skills and their time. So both are bought in to the overall brand goals, but that is established through knowing the person and knowing the brand. And once you establish that you know both of those, then they're more trusting in their investment in you. Value is the name of the game. Like a lot of people ask me, so how much do you charge for a logo? And, and the answer is always, it depends on the project. It depends on the scope. It depends on what you'll need for me. It depends on what position you're currently in. Like a lot of different factors come into play because I'm not about just, well, I'm trying to do something to get a return. Like I'm not, like, I'm not selling a t-shirt. Like I'm selling the, the thing that you can put on t-shirts, you know, vehicle wraps, uh, business card, letterhead, like I'm, I'm in the business of providing value. So I want whatever I charge you, I, in my mind, that's going to give you exponentially more value. So it's about value. 
So having the conversations and getting to this place means money is the last thing because you're establishing like what, what you can do, what I can do as a designer, and then I'm establishing how much value I want to provide and how long lasting I want this value to be. The last thing is to use the depth that you've gathered from these conversations because traveling beyond the surface means you have a much deeper pool of inspiration to pull from. Knowing the person, so you know their personal motivations as it ties to the brand. Knowing the brand, knowing the market during your research and figuring out how this brand, how this person wants this to be positioned in the market. This catalog of knowledge that you gather in this step, in this stage, provides you with so many more opportunities when it comes to design. And you see logos that uh, reflect a uh, city's history or reflect different things. You can kind of just little intricacies that you can apply to create a really, really cool, unique solution, very unique solution to the problem at hand. That's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Make sure you subscribe and check out the other videos I got on this channel. If you have any questions, let me know and I might make a video about it. See you later.